And here it is. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, here to reveal more technical expertise from a member of the Oracle community. Here to deliver his third two-minute tech tip is Oracle SQL developer advocate Chris Saxon. Chris's two minutes starts now. Hi, Bob. Today, I'm going to talk about a common business requirement that's storing changes to your data over time. This enables you to see how the data looked at a point in time in the past. Now, there's several reasons you might want to do this. Firstly, you might need to support audit or regulation compliance. Secondly, it's also really handy when it comes to business intelligence and reporting, so you can see how your data has changed over time and possibly get some real business insights. Finally, it's absolutely invaluable when it comes to investigating production bugs. Being able to see the state of the data at the time an error occurred makes it really easy to figure out what the problem was and potentially resolve it. So there's lots of reasons for capturing this data. And the way you typically do this in the past is create a bunch of triggers on your tables, which every time you insert, update, or delete the rows, copies the relevant information into some history tables, along with some metadata, such as who did it and when they did it. Now, this is easy to say, but it's a lot of work, and it's easy to make a mistake. For example, when you're adding columns to a table, forgetting to update the triggers. This means you've got a whole bunch of missing information, and you may not realize this for a few days, weeks, months, maybe even a couple of years after the fact, by which time there's a whole bunch of data you thought you had, which is just missing. So this is, could be a problem. Fortunately, Oracle has a nice, simple solution for this. That's Flashback Data Archive. To use it, just create your archive and then alter your tables to use it. Oracle will then automatically capture all the DML, all the changes to those tables, and put them in the archive for you. To view the data at a point in the time in the past, just use standard flashback query, so as of timestamp or SCN. Did that tip work for you? This is like a dream I've had. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. <laughs>